the Times Higher Education ranking. And these two are actually competing each year between each other. It was ranked as 172nd in terms of uh, education and the quality of teaching. Very uh, knowledgeable, professional. The only downside to the education system in Italy Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I've noticed that lots of you are really interested in studying in Italy and universities in Italy and I thought that probably we should talk more often about it. And uh, honestly, one of the things that uh, I think is uh, very common among my comments is the question about various universities in Italy, not only the University of Bologna, which is of course the university that I know more about and I talk most about, but First thing first, I'm also thinking about launching a new kind of videos where I will take you to another university and talk more about those universities in particular. But in today's video, I wanted to talk about the general idea of the universities in Bologna. Simply because the Times Higher Education ranking has been out recently and uh, it has a few Italian universities in it, in the top 200 universities in the world. So I just wanted to talk about the best Italian universities according to Times and also according to uh, Italian rankings and Italian system like the best universities in Italy, in Italy and then in the world. So if you're ready, let's get into the video. So starting with the Times Higher Education ranking, this year there are some great news for the University of Bologna because it was ranked as 172nd out of 1,662 universities overall taken into consideration for this ranking and considering that there are approximately 26,000 universities across the world, University of Bologna is in the first percentile of the best universities in the whole world. It was also ranked this third in Europe in Times impact ranking, meaning uh, how uh, impactful University of Bologna is in the social and environmental areas across Europe, which I think is also a very good sign. Uh, another university that uh, made their way into the Times Higher Education ranking are uh, La Sapienza, the University of Rome. It got uh, ranked as 197th together as Scuola Normale Superiore di Pisa, which is a different kind of the university but if you are interested let me know in the comments and I will talk more about various types of the universities in Italy because there are lots of them actually and then University of Padua, the Scuola Superiore Sant'Anna and the University of uh, Milan Bicocca were ranked from uh, the 200 to 250s and the University of Rome Tor Vergata was included in that same ranking while the State University of Milan was ranked from 300 uh, to 350s. So uh, this is just the general idea of how the Italian universities are ranked across the world, taking into consideration other uh, universities in basically all other countries. And moving on to the Italian ranking system. So the Italian ranking system is very particular because it does not have a general table uh, but it actually divides the universities based on their size so there is a separate table for mega universities and university of bologna is one of them another table for big universities another for medium-sized universities and another one for uh, small universities so this is actually made to give opportunity to all the universities and it makes sense because uh, you cannot really compare a small university with a huge university like mega universities like the university of bologna so it really makes sense to divide them in this way and starting with the mega universities university of bologna sits at the first uh, place and it's been on the first place for the last four or five years i guess and 
generally University of Bologna sits really high in most of the Italian rankings and as you could see in the world rankings as well. The second place took the University of Padua and I actually have a little video about life in Padua and just Padua as a really nice student city and if we got enough likes under this video and enough comments under this video I will also make a video about uh, studying in the University of Padua with all the costs of living and the peculiarities of that university so don't forget to like this video to comment to share it and if you're new here subscribe and hit the bell button so the third in this ranking is La Sapienza the University of Rome the fourth is the University of Florence and these two are actually competing each year between each other the same way that University of Bologna and the University of Padua are competing all of the time then next we have the University of Pisa the University of Turin University of Palermo which is the new entry of this year the University of the State University of Milan and University of Bari and University Federico II of Naples so this concludes the top 10 of the mega universities of Italy. Then passing on to big universities, the first place got the University of Perugia, the second place got University of Salerno, and the third place got the University of Pavia. I'm reminding you once again that these are basically two different tables inside the same ranking and they are not comparable between each other, the mega uh, universities and big or medium sized. So these are the top three. Uh, while the top three medium universities, like medium-sized universities, according to the student body, the size of campus, the size of uh, the academic staff, are the University of Trento in the first place, the University of Siena on the second place, and the University of Sassari on the third place. And then we are passing to small universities. The, the small universities uh, were ranked, the top three small universities in Italy were ranked as follows. The first place got the University of Camerino, while the second place went to the University of Macerata and the University of Cassino uh, took the third place. Uh, these rankings basically take into account various things. The quality of uh, teaching, the quality of research, the environmental and social impact as said before, and also the location, the campuses, the uh, facilities, the accommodation, so all of these things. And it's really important to consider the best university for yourself because it really depends on your wants and needs and what you're looking for and the degree program you're looking for because while the general degrees are usually offered across all of the Italian universities, something more specific might be offered in one but might not be offered in another so you have to really make a research before applying for the university another important thing to consider is the cost of living and i have a separate video about cost of living in bologna for the university students i will link you up here and also in the description box and you know these things are definitely to consider when applying for university when choosing the university because you're gonna spend there at least three years if you're doing a bachelor's degree five years if you're doing bachelor's and master's degree and so on and so on so just make sure you know what you're signing for. In terms of uh, education and the quality of teaching, the University of Bologna sits at the first place in Italy and sits quite high in the world ranking, in the Times Higher Education ranking. Uh, I would say that as a University of Bologna student, I'm quite happy with the quality of teaching and with how the university is structured and all the things here. I'm really happy with my professors. I don't know if this is the case for uh, other schools but both in my bachelor's degree and in my master's degree I'm really lucky to have a very uh, knowledgeable professional and also very attentive professors and that helps a lot. The only downside to the education system in Italy is probably that it is very theory based. I think I've talked about it before and if you're interested I have another video talking about student life in uh, Bologna and in Italy. Uh, so generally I really like the teaching here. It is very theory based, which also makes sense because if you dig a little bit deeper into the university's history in Italy, you'll see that the first things to be taught and to be studied here were humanities, law, philosophy, uh, and these things are considered quite theory based. So it really makes sense, especially if you are uh, a student at the humanities faculty or even arts faculty. It's not exactly the case for engineering students or medical students 
or I don't know, someone with more practical approach to the job itself. And I had friends who did medicine here and were quite happy with the internships and labs. Uh, even on more theory-based uh, programs like mine, I still have uh, labs. For example, now I'm doing a master's degree in information culture and media organization, and I have uh, two mandatory labs, like one per year. Uh, I can choose them among several electives, and then I have to do it, and it's more practice-based, so it's like really a hands-on teaching. And, uh, and when I did my bachelor's degree in drama, art, and uh, music studies, I could apply for labs there were like extracurricular labs but i could apply for them too and i did several of them and also i could choose in my curriculum whether i wanted to do an internship a lab or a seminar so starting with a seminar i'll just say that this is a more like a tutoring uh, in small groups and then you have an internship which is definitely a very practice based thing so i chose uh, internship and i did my internship as a drama teacher for elementary and middle school kids and i really liked it and if you want me to talk more about internships in italy leave me the comments down below and i will make a separate video talking about internships in italy and how they work the internship for students uh, and you could also choose a lab which is definitely a very practice based thing and my friends who chose a lab while getting a degree in drama art and music studies for example if they chose a theater lab did a contemporary theater dance theater thing so it's more practice based anyway Despite being theory-based, I think the education here is very thorough and it really makes you learn how to be organized and how to study by yourself as well, which is a very important skill, I think, to live, especially, to live in this world and especially today, to live in the contemporary world. You know, being able to educate yourself is also very important. And yeah, in general, I would say that I'm really happy with the Italian educational system. I'm really happy with my university in particular, which is the University of Bologna, in case you are new here and you don't know me. Anyway, I would say that I recommend Italy as a place to study, but you need to choose carefully the university. You should know what you're going for, you should know your degree, and you should make your research about uh, which university to apply to, for which degree to apply to, and what are your prospects afterwards so these are some very important things to consider and that's it for today guys i hope you like this video don't forget to check out my other videos about studying in italy i made a separate playlist for university life and student life in italy and leave me a comment tell me what else would you like to know about uh, education in italy tell me where would you like me to go to show you the university the la student life there and tell you more about any particular university or you know a university city so don't forget to like comment and share this video so i can make more videos uh, like this one talking about university and studying in italy and if you're new here don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button to get the notifications of all the upcoming videos thank you for being here and enjoy your day